yet another power supply unboxing, but this one actually has something really cool about it. This is a feature that has been, uh, you know, I was a little skeptical about when I first heard of it. The cameraman is zoomed in on the right thing. This is Power Cache. This is the first power supply we've seen this on, the Antec True Power Quattro 1200 watt. This is a high performance capacitor on some of the key connectors that delivers an extra power reserve when you're, where you need it, when you need it most. So basically what that means is if you start to draw a whole bunch of power from your 12 volt rail all of a sudden that capacitor is going to act as a bit of a buffer and make sure that instead of having a little bit of a dip in the power you're actually just going to have solid constant power so let's talk a little bit about the basic specs of this unit before i get oh uh oh i'm opening from the wrong side here that won't work at all will it okay so it's a 1200 watt unit like i mentioned before it is part of their true power quattro series which also has an 850 and a 1000 watt power supply but neither of those features this interesting new feature okay and i'm just going to get up the spec table on this once we finally get it oh yeah there we go okay so as i have not mentioned yet this is an 80 plus silver design so that means that you're going to see efficiency i believe it's upwards of 85 percent no matter what uh don't quote me on that one though nvidia sli ready so they've gone to the effort to have it certified although i guarantee this will run pretty much whatever gpus you throw at it i don't think it's going to matter there's your basic specs here so they're telling you it's dual quad core ready it has a pwm controlled fan six 12 volt rails on this guy 11 sata connectors uh we can get to all of that once we get inside oh yeah there we go there i finally found that oh they covered it with a sticker oh fail okay well hopefully it's on the inside of the unit okay let's get this open and let's have a look at what is included. First of all, you've got the product overview, which shows you the power supply itself, as well as which connectors are included. Thank you for that. All right, next you've got a huge, beefy uh, proprietary power cable. This cable, this is one of those special ones that's usually included on very high wattage power supplies. Then you have a whole bunch of modular cables. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Really nice foam packing. This is nice closed cell foam. Very, very durable feeling. All right, then we get the True Power Quattro 1200 watt. It's, oh man, that's heavy. Wow, okay. Oh, hold on, four black screws. So you can attach it to your case, excellent. Okay, so let's get this open here. Like the rest of the Quattro series, the Quattro 1200 does feature racing stripes, which as everybody knows, does make your computer go much faster. Okay, see the racing stripes? So it'll go away faster. Okay, let's start at the back of the unit. So it has an 80 millimeter fan and there's your, there's your power input. There's no power switch. So if you actually want to completely power it down, you will have to pull the plug. All right, then on this side, we've got a stamped Antec logo as well as a couple little ventilation holes. All right, over at the front, we've got a, just a complete grill. So that's where most of your air intake is coming from. We've got like a semi-modular interface on this particular power supply. So that means a lot of the cables are pre-attached, but you do have some modular cables in case you don't want to completely clutter up your case. Oh, here we'll find the specs. So as we mentioned before, there are six 12 volt rails on this power supply, each of which is rated for a whopping 38 amps. Wow. Okay, and then so the 12 volt rails combined max load is 1200 watts. So you could actually completely load this power supply up to 1200 watts just on the 12 volt rail. That's a lot of 12s. Okay, so then let's have a look at what connectors we have included on the Quattro 1200. Do, 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 do. If I could get the zip or uh, the twist tie off, then I would be able to show you. Okay, first of all, we have a 24 pin power connector, which has like a, a pretty cool looking little boot on it that will make it, I guess, look nicer more than anything else. Okay, cool. Next we have all right, wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of connectors on here. This is gonna actually take me like a just a brief moment to sort out here. Sorry about that. And okay, so we will discover that the four plus four pin connector or eight pin connector, which it includes two of, each has this, uh, this capacitor feature on it. So all of your CPU power is gonna have that little buffer on it. And you can use this with a motherboard that requires two eight pin connectors. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Next we have, all right, next, wow, these are, these are great. Okay, so we've got two PCI Express connectors here, each on one cable. I actually really like this because so many high-end video cards these days, 
use two connectors as it is. So you can got, you've got as much as an eight plus six pin connector on each of these cables, two of which are pre-attached to the motherboard or to the power supply. So I guess they're assuming that if you're running a 1200 watt power supply, you better have at least two graphics cards in your system. And they both do have the capacitor on it as well. So that pretty, oh yeah, no, we've actually got one pre-attached SATA cable, which includes three connectors. And then we have one pre-attached Molex cable that includes three connectors and one floppy connector. All right, in terms of modular cables, we have uh, a few more included here. And actually, oh wow, almost every cable on this power supply does include their, their capacitor feature. I didn't actually realize that. Uh, no, maybe it's not all of them. Okay, so the modular Molex and SATA ones do not, and the modular... PCI Express ones do, and then everything attached to the power supply itself, except the 24 pin, does not. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bother undoing these. Okay, you've got two more modular PCI Express cables, okay, each of which is going to connect up to two PCI Express connectors, all right, one 6 plus 2 and one 6 pin, and then you've got what appears to be, hmm, okay, one, two, oh, three more SATA, okay. Excellent. And then you have doo -doo -doo -doo, two more Molex cables that look just like the other one. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Antec Quattro 1200 watt power supply.